Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video on Abstract Thesis series. And in today's video, we would like to discuss how can we create a cross dimensional rank. So let's say in a visual, I have category and I have, let's say city or state. Then what would happen? The, the if I create a rank on state and if I put category, it will be inside that one. Same way when I create a category rank and I put state, then category will start ranking inside the uh, states. Now to avoid this, what we do, we put both the columns together. But when we do the, those things, those are typically when uh, we do those things, typically when they are belonging from same dimension. So in the, if they are in the same dimension, we can say both the columns are all selected. Okay, and, and we can get a single rank, isn't it? So let's try that first of all. So first of all, let's see how we could have done when it is a single dimension and how we are going to do it using this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take here brand and I already have a brand rank here. So net rank is the brand rank on the net and let me take net also so you understand this rank. So if I start descending, you can understand this rank very well. Now the moment I bring in category in this visual from item again and we bring it on top of this one. Now let me expand also. So now what you see that the uh, category, this data is getting expanded inside this one. Or maybe even if I create a table visual, you can see that this rank and I have to actually let me sort on category. So now you see the category, the brands are ranked inside this one. So brand two again, you will see a few more ranks and, and I can do one more thing. This is what we can do on table visual. So let it be sorted on there with the shift. Let me press this button twice. Now see you, here you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what rank we have created, the context of the rank is really important. So you used brand, anything other than brand you're going to use, the rank is going to distribute inside that one. So sometime when you see one, 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 one rank, what is the reason behind that? Because maybe let's say I created a rank on item and I've also taken item ID in the visual. So rank doesn't support that. So item ID should be part of the rank or you created rank on the table and both are lowest level, then you can get the rank. Now here I want a continuous rank. I want a rank which says me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Keep on continuing that. So how do I do that? So let me copy this formula and create a new measure. So what I want, I want a rank, net rank, but that should be cat and brand rank. So cat and brand rank I need. So item, it's all selected and in what I'm going to do in, in this all selected, I'll also add category. And then net is there. The second argument is the major. Third argument, I'm leaving it. Fourth argument is descending, ascending or descending sort. By default, it is descending. And the fourth one is dense. Dense means if uh, both the ranks are one and one, the next rank should be three or two. So in case of dense, it should be, it will be two. And in case of skip, it will be three. And so on. If there are more, then there could be more. Now, so we got a new rank here. Now let's look at this rank. So now let's sort on the net actually, instead of anything else, let's sort on the net. And now you see there is a continuous rank. That's, that's really good. Now let's bring in one more kind of visual now. Let's try what happens when we bring in category and when we bring in state with us. Okay. So we have geography dimension from there, we are going to bring in state. So we got category, we got state and then definitely this rank is not going to work. In. So, but we can start with a rank which is on category. Okay. So you will see that the category is getting distributed inside the state. So if I sort on the state and then I sort on the rank. Okay. I did not press the shift correctly. Shift. Now you will see the inside the states, the ranks are 
changing. So Arizona ends, then again the rank will start set. Okay, fine. We don't need this. What we need is what we need is a combined rank. Okay. So let's copy this formula. Okay. Now let's try. And we have not put net into the visual that I realized. But let's create the rank and then we'll try it out. State and fine. So in the all selected, can I go ahead and put here? So let me try geography state comma okay so all selected geography state item okay okay so the all column argument all not by remove filter must have same table i don't have the same table here so that's why it is not working now okay so and then state okay so what should we do so now what we're going to do is we are going to do a trick now here so we say summarize all selected we take the table the common table the sales and then we check geography and item so what we are saying pushing is the all selected we have pushed to our sales table so whatever is being selected is we pushed there and then we are taking state from the geography and item category from the item dimension because that's the common forum which we have the common domain common fact table is there so that's where we have it and that is the one of the ways we can do it so let's try this out now so now this is working so at least it is saying okay it's fine let's put it here and unless until we have the data of the net we will not be able to understand so let's make it a little bit smaller this visual and then we open this and while when this visual is selected just click on the net so net would be there and let's make it little bit smaller to understand that in detail okay so now i sort it on the net and let's see it, it should continuously grow now they, if there are same numbers they let it be same but it should continuously grow and that's what is happening so now what we have done is we have created rank for two columns within same dimension two column across dimension so go ahead and try that out and do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.